Timmy Joe reviews anything. Reviewing computer parts on YouTube. That's Woo! Right. You're gonna be pumped on that, right, Will? Computer parts! Woo! Oh, yeah. What's up, noobs? My name's Timmy Joe. I make videos about, um, computers up here on the internet or something. I think I got the set all sorted out except for brown and black. Send it back. Or if it's brown, drink it down. I forget what it is, but I got rid of that brown thing uh, and replace with a black curtain because there's a window there. But we're here. We're doing an episode of the favorite, everyone's favorite game show. New plebs try to sell things on the internet. Yeah, that's the theme song. And uh, yeah, this is a program where uh, people like you guys uh, send in silly ads to me, things that... Uh, don't make sense or overpriced or just are plain crazy. People like this send in ads. And I want to keep you guys, uh, you know, in check because I went through about, I'd say 60 emails, like a lot of them this time. Maybe it was like, yeah. Anyways, and there were a lot of just like, hey, this is $100 too expensive or whatever in there. I want like funny, odd things, not just like every overpriced by a hundred dollars ad you see stuff that's like unique so i know i beggars can't be choosers thanks to every single one of you even if yours doesn't end up in the episode but i'm not going to uh you know it takes a little bit more time to sift through them if there's just like a hundred dollars too expensive or give me a reason why you thought it was funny maybe i'm missing the point but we have some good user submitted stuff here today and we will get uh, right on with the program, won't we? So thank you very much for submitting. Here is our first new pleb trying to sell things on the internet. Boof! Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred. Must be just a wonderfully beautiful PC here uh, for fifteen hundred dollars, right? I mean, it's just it's got a glass case. Not not bad. It's got a CD-ROM drive. Those are really hip. Red lights in the front. You know, they're gonna have good airflow. So what do we got for specs? Well. A Intel Core i5, a GTX, uh, which which Core i5, by the way? Like, there's a lot of difference between, hey, it's a Core i5, uh, you know, 2500 non-K, or even worse than that, like a first gen, or it's a i5, uh, you know, 45, 70K or 90K. Uh, you know, th th there is quite a bit of difference there. So let us know, is it overclockable, you jerk? Anyways, I'm trying to see what kind of uh, chipset it is, but it's, he doesn't really got any good picture of this. And then he's got just a beautiful GTX uh, 970 there. Those are wonderfully fashionable. At least they've got a decent amount of VRAM guaranteed. Not not the worst card in the world. But what would I price this computer at? Well, I ask you, what would you price this computer at? If it's in the United States, in US dollars, um, sold as is too. Sold as is. What the hell does that mean? as is something's wrong with it then <laughs> just sneaking that in there for legal ease at the end uh yeah cd player you could play alanis morissette on that it's like rain, rain on your wedding, jagged little pill y you're too young you don't get it but that was my first cd i think yeah probably uh <laughs> either that it was like a weird owl cd anyways CD player sold as is. So uh, this is worth seven hundred dollars. It's worth half or less than half of what he's asking for. It's unfortunate. Now maybe uh, it's worth eight hundred if the i five is really good. I really doubt it's a current gen or a, a six core. It's a four core non hyper threading, and I think he would probably boast if it was an overclockable CPU. So I just this is way too expensive, and this is what I'm talking about. Why are you like do your research? I get that some rural areas, you can make a little bit more money because PC parts aren't available, but $1,500, just don't be an asshole. Moving on. Now this one's worth every penny. So if I just made fun of a $1,500 gaming PC that had relatively decent specs, what are you gonna think about this one? With that case, with the jewels that light up blue and the floppy drive, the floppy drive. Huh? Well, uh, let's dive a little further here. That side window is, oh, Monster logo. Oh, it's got energy. That's what it is. Uh, can we tell? Oh, RX 580. And uh, yeah, he doesn't list the specs in here, I don't think. No, runs great. Hardly use it anymore. $1,500 the best offer. AMD FX 6300 6-core processor with 12 gigs of RAM. 
I, I mean, that car, that graphics card they sell right now for like just over two hundred dollars. Okay, and the rest of the system's worth two two hundred dollars. So you have a four hundred dollar gaming PC that you're selling for fifteen hundred dollars in a case that's from literally two thousand and five, man. If you're lucky, no. Do they still use floppy drives in two thousand and five? It might even be before. And you glued a fan on the top of it. Could you not have cut it out from the inside and put a grill or something? People, man, and that couch just looks pretty. Good. Dude, vacuum up your carpet before you take pictures, dude. Anyways, th this is the kind of silly stuff I'm talking about. Just absolutely crazy. So I got a couple of uh, uh, GTX 680s sent to me. And I want to know what your sentiment is on this. Um, SLI $300 comes with the SLI bridge because that's necessary. Yeah, uh, but you're like, even if you're getting, you know, let's say 1050 Ti, maybe 1063 gigabyte performance by SLIing these graphics wise, you're still limited to a two gig VRAM buffer. So as far as I'm concerned, this is like trying to sell two really power hungry cards you will need a very good power supply for uh, that, that you're not going to get any better than a GTX 1050s performance, at least for, you know, RAM, VRAM buffer. It, it's, no, it's no good. It's not good. So, but I don't know. Sell these for a hundred bucks each and maybe you'll get 80 each. I, I don't know. It's just, this kind of bugs me. But the next one is kind of ridiculous. Boof, there we go. Uh, you get $5 off on eBay. Uh, I know that these cards are kind of sought after, but like, are you really going to try and sell us for $650 to GTX 680s? And it says four gigabyte models. I didn't know there was a four gigabyte model. At least that's making it a little bit better. As well as, uh, this, this one comes with, uh, water blocks. And it looks like it comes with two different water blocks, an EVGA, uh, or maybe that's just the back plate. Yeah, so you get a, you get water blocks with them. That's wonderful. But who's gonna SLI like unless you're building a period appropriate system? Like you really want you know 2012's best what you know had to offer, and put that in a system with a second gen i7. I don't I don't get why you'd want this stuff. So sell them individually for a decent price. It just doesn't make sense to me. But what do you think of 680s? Is this done? Like. What, what are they worth? 80 bucks? I don't know. It's weird. And then here's another thing I'd like your input on. AMD FX systems, specifically the eight core ones. Now this is the best motherboard you could probably buy for this chipset. I've had this motherboard. It's got a UF, UF, UEFI BIOS. It's got USB 3.0. It's half decent. So I get you're trying to get some decent money for your stuff. 16 gigs of RAMs included, but an 81, or sorry, 8350 a core processor. I, I wouldn't pay any more for this than 120 bucks, like 140 bucks. You know, if I saw this deal without the RAM for a hundred bucks on Kijiji, I might consider it, but I've had so many issues with uh, putting together systems for people, putting FX systems in our uh, processors in there, even the 8350 and people complaining about massive frame time problems in Fortnite and stuff. I just, what do you think of the FX series? Is it dead? I think it's dead, especially for 400 bucks. I just, uh, ain't move on to Ryzen. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a sore spot <laughs> on AMD's record. Move on to the good stuff. It's time to move on. Oh, wow. It's a full pro gaming setup. Okay. This guy's a pro gamer. Okay. His mom gets him up every day at the crack of noon and he plays Fortnite, but he's moving on. He's got to get a real job so you can have his pro gaming set up. There's easily 8,000 euros, 8,000 euros worth of stuff here. So let's check it out from the pictures. We have two 24 inch monitors, uh, a stand up of Mario. I think that case that is not worth like 80 bucks. It's like a Corsair case or something or cooler master. It's a cooler master case. So what are the specs here? Uh, the specs of the PC, GTX 1050 Ti. Oh, that's worth 8,000. Intel Core i5, still not listing which Core i5, which tells me it's a non-overclockable quad core with probably a max frequency of 4.2 gigahertz. Uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, yeah. And Cooler Master Lite 5 RGB case. Lenovo motherboard, Lenovo motherboard. Lenovo motherboard. 
doesn't make any sense. That means it's an OEM motherboard. <laughs> but there's more. You get a PlayStation 4, 500 gigabyte, a Turtle Beach headset, two Dell SE 24-inch monitors, 60 hertz, Gorilla Mechanical Keyboard, Duckus RGB Gaming Mouse, uh, LG DVD Drive, a Belkin 1080p webcam, and also it could include, uh, what, what did we say? An extra 150 his gaming chair. $8,000. Now, I'm assuming, that, where is this guy? He's in Kildare. That is Euros. He must have thought he was hitting 800 bucks. Even at that. Lenovo motherboard. It's not worth 800 bucks. I sure hope that was a typo. If you're really expecting to get 8,000 euros for that, that's absolutely goddamn ridiculous. But it does come with a Google Home Mini and a mouse pad. So, you know, thanks Tristan Brown, whoever you are. Moving on! So, when I'm thinking of a $1,100 Core i7 gaming computer, I'm hoping that it has at least a case from this decade Maybe with some timber glass, maybe with a couple lights in it, maybe with some airflow. Uh, maybe it doesn't come with a TV that you got on Black Friday for $200. Uh, so, yeah, there's no, well, it's an it's a i7 4790K, 32 gigs of DDR3 with a GTX 1050, Windows 10 Pro, and a 43-inch LG TV for a monitor. Oh, wow. Now, that is way too much exposed metal for, for $1,100. There's no fucking way I would ever, ever do it. And uh, that is a t just a terrible case. And why are you showing me the spider webs on the back of your HDMI cable? Like, and this TV is so old, like look at the inputs it's got on it. Just, it doesn't look, <laughs> doesn't look very good at all. So like you got it on Black Friday like five years ago. Like what the hell? So uh, this, this computer alone might be worth 500 bucks, five, 550. An i7 can still bring in some money, and it's a K. But, like, what motherboard was that running? Like, it just doesn't seem right. And thanks for listing all of the CPUs that you have in Device Manager. That's just lovely. It's got eight threads, 32 gigs of RAM. Just wonderful. Did it say what kind of motherboard, maybe? Western Digital? Yeah, it doesn't list the motherboard. So, I don't know. They, they, they just, like, why include your gross TV? This is just a gross ad altogether, and I'm getting away from it. Next! So, we have a gigabyte. Decent computer, right? Oh, $1,750. What do you expect from a $1,750 computer? Do you expect all your RAM to be running in dual channel? <sighs> well, not with this computer. It's got a e $35 CPU cooler, and one of the RAM went bad, so he pulled one of them out of there. So you're getting, what, uh, 24 gigs of RAM. Lovely. At least a decent amount of RAM. Just a weird oversight. It's got a GTX 1070, decent video card, and an i5-6600K. Like, what do you think this computer's worth? In the comments below, let me know. Uh, it, it's just, just uh, I don't know. Like, the case looks dated as all hell. I know it's a half-decent case sort of Corsair. R really, it's like a $50 case at this point. A $35 CPU cooler. You're missing a stick of RAM. You know, this, the, does it even have an SSD? It doesn't even have an SSD. Like $1,750. Does it have an SSD? Corsair? Seven, nothing about it. From Email me for more specs. All parts were around $1,700. All parts were around $1,700. So I'm going to sell it for $50 more used, even though the parts are all old. Sorry, I get a little worked up on these things. Moving on. This one's awesome. Three people sent me this. It's a little Gumtree ad. It's a Logitech gaming mouse and it's in near perfect condition. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting trolled or what, but several people sent me this. And I just thought it was pretty good. $3 in Palm Woods for this uh, beautiful <laughs> Rage Quit mouse. If this was local to me, I would buy it just for the story of buying it. <laughs> if, if the guy would actually sell it. So yeah, this is just... Uh, <laughs> I think I'm being trolled, but whatever. It's, it's good. So yeah, if you want to pick up this mouse, you might think it, it's wireless, but you can, it still has a couple of the wires sticking out of the top of it. <laughs> Someone rage quit. <laughs> and the, their mom was like, I just bought you that mouse at Walmart. What are you doing? And he was like, I don't know, mom. I'm sorry. Okay. This one's a scam. 
see if you can point out what's wrong. I had a viewer send this in. It was gone by the time I looked at it, but he sent me pictures. So why is this fan shroud taped on? It's the GTX 1070 Ti. You see these from time to time on eBay where they're, uh, you know, trying to recoup some costs on a broken video card or something like that. They put it up there as is for 180 bucks. You know, you maybe need the cooler, or maybe you think you can get it working, stuff like that. It straight up says not working. Uh, it's a 1070 Ti 8 gigabyte, or is it? Let's dive a little deeper. So, uh, first of all, 1070. Have you ever seen a graphics card with this configuration? I've never seen a graphics card that has two DVIs in the middle, a Display Port on one, and an HDMI on the other. That's just a red flag right there. But none of the screws are in there. And then why is the PCB half the length of the graphics card and none of the screws are put into it and it only has one SLI finger? Weird. So, uh, yeah, Asus, and if you Google this, it's a 950, GTX 950. So just be aware that not every deal on eBay is as good as it seems and maybe you should, you know, whatever, unless you need the Cerberus cooler that's on this. Pro, you know, it's just steer clear. But, yeah, just a little PSA from your old pal, Timmy Joe. So, moving on. Boop. Uh, oh, yeah, this is an Alienware computer. Um, come $600 or our best offer. It's a really good deal here. I want to show you this, okay? It's got um, about five years worth of dust in it. And it comes with the system. $600. So it's an i3 CPU, which will be a dual core with hyper threading. That's, that's not, not good. Not good. With a GTX 950 and the Alienware 9, like uh, graphics cards are typically like absolutely the worst. They're the worst NVIDIA graphics cards you can get. They're completely bare bones. Stuff you get from Dell. They make them very underpowered and uh, undercooled. And yeah, so I don't even see it in there. Oh yeah, there it is. It's all full of dust. That's just wonderful. But uh, yeah, I just picked this one out. I know it's like worth maybe 300 bucks with the specs it's got. But please, for the goddamn life of me, don't understand why you would take pictures, especially with, you can tell there's a flash going off on your phone when you take these pictures. The flash exposes the dust even twice as much. Clean your damn computers before you sell them, you jerks. Just do it. Take Buy a can of compressed air at the dollar store. Get it out of there, and it's much better. And then maybe research how much this piece of junk is worth. Like, I get you bought this for, like, $1,200 back in the day, but ah, Alienware. Way to go. So, yeah. All right. We're on to the last two. The last two are actually from my hometown. Thanks to the fans in my local hometown showing me the funny ads. So, uh, this is a full gaming PC setup, okay? And the guy's running out of vape juice, and he needs some cash. Where can I get some cash for vape juice? I only have two vials left of Midnight Orange and uh, Super Electric Yellow urine. <laughs> so, he's like, I'll sell my computer on the old Kijiji, and uh, yeah, sure. So, it's got a wonderful DVD drive. It's got a uh, red you know, wonderful red lights. It's just beautiful. And uh, I'm not going to take any time to clean up the crap around the computer or maybe give you an inside view or wipe the computer down. It's uh, wonderful. And it also comes with his masturbation peripherals. Would you ever buy a used keyboard and mouse from a teenage gamer? No, don't. Every teenager masturbates to pornography on their gaming computer. And then if you buy it from them, ugh, so gross. So I'm assuming this, you know, teenager, he's probably in his 20s or whatever. Ugh, you just got to imagine how many times it's happened. Oh, so gross. So this $1,100 computer, how much is, well, what's it got for specs in it? Well, <laughs> it's got a, a Phenom in it with a GTX 960, 8 gigabyte. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. A GTX 968 gigabyte. It's a lovely, it's just lovely. And uh, it's uh, got a quad core Phenom processor, very high tech, state of the art, $1,100. And don't uh, forget that the only thing wrong is that the audio jack is broken, right? So you wouldn't necessarily want to, uh, you know, use this audio jack here because 
it, you have to, it's broken. But it's the only problem with the computer. No big deal. So come grab the vape juice, uh, and maybe we can uh, talk about all the pornography I use these peripherals for. It'll just be lovely. And oh, yeah, and I made this background myself. That, that's, that's what's for sale in my town. Terrible. One last one. Let's see if you can recognize it. Can you recognize this? Well, time's up. I built this computer. I also kind of worked for this computer place, but I didn't build this computer while I was at the computer place. So I don't know how it got into his hands. But I built this Silverstone. It's got an 8600K in it, a really nice motherboard, some really good Velcan RAM. But it's missing something, isn't it? And I don't know if you saw the price there, but let's let's jump back. So an AIO, a six-core non-hyperthreader processor, a really good air, high airflow case. It's actually getting harder to find these days. I really like this Silverstone. It's got the uh, full intake on the front. It's one of the best for airflow. Uh, but, you know, it's got a decent power supply, if I remember in it. It's probably got like a 600 or 700 watt Corsair. But what's, what, 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 what's missing? Well, it does not include a graphics card. I would sell this computer with a GTX 1060 in it for probably a thousand dollars. It's just not going to go for any more than that. Things are only worth what people will pay for them. He's selling it for sixteen hundred dollars without a graphics card. With the graphics card at a retail shop, I could forgive that, and it would have to be a, a, a 1060 six gigabyte version. With no graphics card, you're just in, it's an insult, and it just goes to show how this guy doesn't know how to run a business. Anyways. Uh, I just, I cannot believe that. So, yeah. We're, we're not, we won't talk too much more about that one. I just thought it was funny that I built it, and it ended up on the internet there. So, new plebs try to sell things on the internet. That's been the show today. I'm at Watch Timmy Joe Instagram and Twitter. i got to thank you very much for coming along for the ride. Uh, I do these uh, about once a month, and uh, I don't need every single $100 too expensive uh, listing. I'm looking for interesting things like perfectly working gaming mouses, uh, you know, or just things that are completely out to lunch, or, you know, green PCB, you know, metal frame computers that are going for $1,500, stuff like that. Uh, but I think every single one of you who submit, because uh, that's what makes this show happen, it seems to be pretty popular, and I have a lot of fun doing it, just seeing how silly people can do out there. And I have one for you. Um, send me some good ads, some, like, good deals for next time. I want to see some things in your local area where you were, like, surprised, okay? And I'm putting that out there, and we'll see if I actually get anyone giving me real, like, proper deals or good values. Uh, for on the used market because I'd like to just see like hey look at how good a deal this is you know you know is this is something worth buying because I bet not very many will show up in my inbox for the next episode I'm at watch Jimmy Joe for Instagram and Twitter you can email your submissions to silly ads uh, as well as uh, I have a patreon don't forget about that uh, it helps make the show possible I'm here in my brand new studio eh, gotta get the brown curtains taken care of and we will see you in the next episode, uh, which will probably be tomorrow, which won't have anything to do with selling noobs on the internet. See you guys later. Thank you very much. Woo!